Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, the Fourier Transform. Well, we already have the Fourier Transform from our previous section. This is it right here. C of K is the Fourier Transform of F of X, and this gives you the inverse Fourier Transform, and there's nothing wrong with this definition for the Fourier Transform. However, I would like to give you the symmetric version, and the symmetric version is arrived at to get the same coefficients in the front here. And I do that by this trick. Watch this. C of k is equal to the square root of pi over 2 times capital F of k. So I'm going to insert this in the C of k in the left equation. And I'm going to insert it here for the right equation. So let's do that. So here we have for the left equation, we'll have the square root of pi over pi, which is 1 over square root of pi, and the square root of 2 is in the denominator. And you see this 1 over square root of 2 pi appears here as the factor in front. Then for the second equation, when we put this in for C of k, we're going to take the square root of pi and divide so that we have it in the denominator and we're going to multiply by this, both sides by the square root of 2 and you get the same thing in the denominator. You're going to get 1 over the square root of 2 pi. That's very very nice, very very elegant. So this is our Fourier transform here. At capital F of k is the Fourier transform of f of x. And here is f of x given in terms of the f of k's. Now here I like to remember this one as a superposition of e to the i k x is where this is a positive i k x. You build up the f of x with the e to the i k x's and the capital F of k, the weighting factor in front, gives you how much each one is contributing in the integral. Then for the Fourier transform here to get the capital F of k's that requires the minus sign up in here so when you hit the F of x with the e it's the minus one with the F of x. When you're building the F of x from the F of k's it's the positive. That helps me keep them straight. Well here is the symbol for taking the Fourier transform, the Fourier transform is script f of f of x is the capital F of k. That's the Fourier transform. And this is the way to write the inverse Fourier transform of the capital F of k to give you back the f of x. There you have it, the Fourier transform.